Cox's theorem, named after the physicist Richard Threlkeld Cox, is a derivation of the laws of probability theory from a certain set of postulates. This derivation justifies the so-called logical interpretation of probability, as the laws of probability derived by Cox's theorem are applicable to any proposition. Logical aka objective Bayesian probability is a type of Bayesian probability. Other forms of Bayesianism, such as the subjective interpretation, are given other justifications. Topic: <laughs> Cox's assumptions. Cox wanted his system to satisfy the following conditions Divisibility and comparability – The plausibility of a proposition is a real number and is dependent on information we have related to the proposition. Common sense – Plausibilities should vary sensibly with the assessment of plausibilities in the model. Consistency – If the plausibility of a proposition can be derived in many ways, all the results must be equal. The postulates as stated here are taken from Arnborg and Esjoden. Common sense – Includes consistency with Aristotelian logic in the sense that logically equivalent propositions shall have the same plausibility. The postulates as originally stated by Cox were not mathematically rigorous although better than the informal description above, e.g. as noted by Halpern. However it appears to be possible to augment them with various mathematical assumptions made either implicitly or explicitly by Cox to produce a valid proof. Cox's notation The plausibility of a proposition a display style a given some related information x display style x is denoted by a x display style a mid x Cox's postulates and functional equations are the plausibility of the conjunction a b display style a b of two propositions a display style a b display style b given some related information x display style x is determined by the plausibility of display style a given x display style x and that of b display style b given a x display style x in form of a functional equation a b x equals g a x b a x display style ab mid x equals g a mid x b mid x because of the associative nature of the conjunction in propositional logic, the consistency with logic gives a functional equation saying that the function G display style G is an associative binary operation. Additionally, Cox postulates the function G display style G to be monotonic. All strictly increasing associative binary operations on the real numbers are isomorphic to multiplication of numbers in the interval 0, 1, which means that there is a function w display style w mapping plausibilities to interval 0 1 such that w a b x 
equals W A X W B A X Display style W A B mid X equals W A mid X W B mid X the plausibility of a proposition determines the plausibility of the proposition's negation. This postulates the existence of a function f f such that w not x equals f w a X display style W text not a mid X equals F W a mid X because a double negative is an affirmative consistency with logic gives a functional equation F F X equals X Display style f f x equals x, saying that the function f display style f is an involution, i.e., it is its own inverse. Furthermore, Cox postulates the function f display style f to be monotonic. The above functional equations and consistency with logic imply that. W A B X equals W A X F W not B A X equals W A X F W A not B X W A X Display style W A B mid X equals W A mid X F W text not B mid X equals W A mid X F left W A text not B mid X over W A mid X right. Since A B display style A B is logically equivalent to B a display style b a we also get w a x f w a not b x w a x equals W B X F W B not a X W B X Display style W A mid X F left W A text not B mid X over W A mid X right equals W B mid X F left W B text not a mid X over W B mid X right. If in particular B equals not A D Display style B equals text not A D then also a not B equals not B Display style A text not B equals text not B and B not a equals not 
display style b text not a equals text not a and we get w a not b x equals w not b x equals f w b x display style w a text not b mid x equals w text not b mid x equals f w b mid x and w b not x equals w not x equals f w a x display style w b text not a mid x equals w text not a mid x equals f w a mid x abbreviating w a x equals x display style w a mid x equals x and w b x equals y display style w b mid x equals y we get the functional equation x f f y x equals y f f x y display style x f left f y over x right equals y f left f x over y right topic implications of cox's postulates the laws of probability derivable from these postulates are the following let a b display style a mid b be the plausibility of the proposition a display style a given b display style b satisfying cox's postulates then there is a function w display style w mapping plausibilities to interval 0 1 and a positive number m display style m such that certainty is represented by w a B equals one. Display style W A mid B equals one W M A B plus W M not a B equals one. Display style W carrot M A B plus W carrot M text not a mid B equals one W A B C equals W A C W B A C equals w b c w a b c display style w a b mid c equals w a mid c w b mid a c equals w b mid c w a mid b c 
It is important to note that the postulates imply only these general properties. We may recover the usual laws of probability by setting a new function, conventionally denoted p p or p r display style p r equal to w m display style w caret m then we obtain the laws of probability in a more familiar form certain truth is represented by p r a b equals 1 display style pr mid b equals 1 and certain falsehood by pr a b equals 0 display style pr a mid b equals 0 pr a b plus pr not a b equals 1 display style pr a mid b plus pr text not a mid b equals 1 pr a b c equals pr C P R B A C equals P R B C P R A B C Display style P R A B mid C equals P R a mid C P R B mid A C equals P R B mid C P R a mid B C Rule two is a rule for negation, and rule three is a rule for conjunction. Given that any proposition containing conjunction, disjunction, and negation can be equivalently rephrased using conjunction and negation alone, the conjunctive normal form, we can now handle any compound proposition. The laws thus derived yield finite additivity of probability, but not countable additivity. The measure theoretic formulation of Kolmogorov assumes that a probability measure is countably additive. This slightly stronger condition is necessary for the proof of certain theorems. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Interpretation and further discussion. Cox's theorem has come to be used as one of the justifications for the use of Bayesian probability theory. For example, in Jane's it is discussed in detail in chapters 1 and 2 and is a cornerstone for the rest of the book. Probability is interpreted as a formal system of Logic, the natural extension of Aristotelian logic in which every statement is either true or false into the realm of reasoning in the presence of uncertainty. It has been debated to what degree the theorem excludes alternative models for reasoning about uncertainty. For example, if certain unintuitive Mathematical assumptions were dropped then alternatives could be devised, e.g., an example provided by Halpern. However Arnborg and Esjoden suggest additional common sense postulates, which would allow the assumptions to be relaxed in some cases while still ruling out the Halpern example. Other approaches were devised by Hardy or Dupre and Tipler. The original formulation of Cox's theorem is in Cox, 1946, which is extended with additional results and more discussion in Cox, 1961. Jaynes cites Abel for the first known use of the associativity functional equation. 
Atzel provides a long proof of the associativity equation. Pages 256 to 267. Jaynes reproduces the shorter proof by Cox in which differentiability is assumed. A guide to Cox's theorem by Van Horn aims at comprehensively introducing the reader to all these references. Topic. See also. Probability axioms Probability logic